Alors il y a quelques jours je t'ai proposé une vidéo dans laquelle je te parlais de mon expérience dans une retraite de méditation et je te parlais de, du fondateur de cette retraite qui s'appelle Will et qui est un mec qui a fait beaucoup de choses hyper intéressantes dans sa vie et euh, c'est un mec qui est vraiment passionnant. Comme je te disais dans la précédente vidéo, euh, là aujourd'hui je te propose une vidéo dans laquelle il répond à plein de questions. C'est une interview que j'ai fait en anglais, s'il te plaît ne te moque pas mon anglais il est dégueulasse et Will qui est un américain a beaucoup de patience avec moi il répond à plein de questions et ses réponses sont hyper intéressantes, elles sont terriblement inspirantes et je suis vraiment heureuse de partager euh, tout ça avec toi c'est drôle parce que cette interview je l'ai fait il y a super longtemps, je crois que c'était... Euh en mars et j'avais oublié les réponses et j'avais oublié à quel point les réponses de Will m'avaient profondément marqué donc euh, juste pour ça je suis terriblement heureuse de te la proposer et puis je remercie beaucoup beaucoup Will qui regardera peut-être cette vidéo parce que euh, effectivement il a une mentalité, une philosophie de vie une manière de vivre qui est hyper intéressante et que je suis très contente de partager, voilà je te fais des gros 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 bisous et je te laisse avec Will et surtout dis-moi ce que tu en as pensé dans les commentaires et si, euh, comme moi, tu trouves que Will est quelqu'un de fantastique. So, how are you? <laughs> yeah, so I'm Will, I'm 31, I'm from the United States, and um, yeah, this, my background is that I finished university and then I was looking for some adventure and I began my travels, mm -hmm. and this is 2010. And the first place I came was to Thailand and I lived here for two years and I was teaching English as a foreign language. And I love Thailand, like the weather, the food, the people, it's like a nice quality of life. But I didn't love so much teaching, it's okay, but not my passion. Mm -hmm. And so then I, I started to travel more, all in Southeast Asia, India, Nepal, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, and Central America, South America, Africa, and Europe. Yeah, wow. everywhere looking for what is my passion mm -hmm. in Australia too uh, and then I discovered here in Thailand meditation and then later on also yoga and I thought okay how can I combine all of my passions into one way I can live yeah, into a lifestyle and that's how Swansati was born, was um, I want to take yoga and meditation and permaculture mm -hmm. and to make a lifestyle project. So this isn't for me working and then I go somewhere else. This is where I live and what I do every day mm -hmm. is my practice. Could you explain me what is exactly this project? Mm. So this project is just a combination of like guest house, retreat center, permaculture site, community, uh, homestay, so many things combined into one but my uh, idea, my vision is for a, a place where people can come and just to be themselves and to learn about uh, themselves by taking time to be quiet and still and slow and to be connected with nature yeah? because I think our lives are very busy very fast And so we don't have this quiet space to explore what's happening inside and to ask ourselves deeper questions like, who am I? You know, what is my purpose in life and how can I better serve humanity? Mm -hmm. you know? So this is my intention for this place is not for necessarily everybody to become Buddhist, but to become more in touch with what's happening inside. Yeah. <laughs> and could you explain me how this place uh, was um, constructed? Constructed, yeah. Yes, yes. with roofing yes. and voluntary. <laughs> yeah, so I, this, uh, this place is very, very unique, I think, in that um, I, when I started, I had um, almost no money, uh, no experience in construction or gardening or mm -hmm. community, le leading a community, anything. And so uh, I started by uh, by looking for work away, work awares and woof, mm -hmm. woofers online. I didn't know is anybody going to come, is anybody interested, okay it's not so like five star, mm -hmm. <laughs> so who's going to come? But uh, luckily I put my faith, all my trust in the universe to bring me the right thing at the right time and I had amazing volunteers, so many volunteers that I had, I could only accept 10%, 90%, I said, sorry, I'm full, I have no bed. Mm -hmm. um, and so everything that we did here, we did by ourselves, pretty much, except for the bungalows and electricity, only two okay. things. 
So, I mean, when I came here, there was so much trash everywhere, like shoes and bottles and plastic everywhere. Mm -hmm. And so we had to clean everything and we had to do everything, like everything from building the showers and the toilets and the garden, there was nothing here. And so everybody that came here, they gave, they gave me so much. Mm -hmm. Just, they didn't, you know, you plant the seed and you'll never eat this vegetable. And this is generosity, to give something that you can never get back. Yes. And so this place for me, when I look, when I look here, I see all of my friends walking yeah, and helping and sweating and just working so hard to make this dream a reality mm -hmm. so that we can sit here today and enjoy this. So yeah. there's, this place has so much love and it's like about 90% built by volunteers. So it's okay. very special. Wow. Okay. Could you explain me what is your... Avec yeah, what's my what's my rapport yes, with uh, uh, Thai work with you? Yes. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. In Thailand, we have to have a Thai business partner. Mm -hmm. yeah. So my business partner is my one of my best friends, um, P Orn. P means older brother, older sister. So we say like sister Orn, and she helped me so much to start everything here with like all the legal paperwork to mm -hmm. form the company and everything so um, so this is my the first person to help me even from before I came here and so they she comes and helps me two times three times per week with okay do, do it this way don't do it this way and also our other friend Pilek um, it's my brother and he helps with the garden so so much so these are my two really good friends and they help me with with so much here and then we have our our chef Pija, mm -hmm. and she is an angel. She always helps us with, with all the food, cooking three meals a day. Even today, she's sick, but she still came in because she you know she loves us and we love her. Um, in this neighborhood, we have a very good relationship with the Thai people. Mm -hmm. You know, I go myself to the shops and buy things, and I go to the temple. The temple is right here. You can hear um, yes. this. This is a funeral. Yeah, ah, okay. it's a funeral happening today. So I go to the temple, the monks, they know me, and um, we have a village back here. It's a mm -hmm. minority village, okay. and we go back there and spend time with them. And So everybody in this neighborhood, they know me, and we have a good relationship, whether we do a little bit of business together or just saying hello all the time. Mm -hmm. um, we are, we're inside this, this area, mm -hmm. but um, our, uh, our relationship is everywhere in this neighborhood, and we always try to buy things locally and use the local um, people to help us if we have a job we need. So um, it's very important to us that we are integrated yeah, yeah. in this community and we're not only taking but also giving. Mm -hmm. We must give because in this country that's given me so much, this is why I decided to stop here and make this project here. Thai people have given me so much so now it's my chance to return and give back. What is your impact in the world? Do you know? My impact in the world? Yes. Good. Yeah, so I feel in my impact is that we have the opportunity here to host about 1,000 people per year for one week. So, you know, when we think so many people in the world, this is almost a small number, but this is how we start. Yeah? And I think, okay, if 1,000 people can come here and they learn a little something about mm -hmm. how to meditate or how to eat healthy, or to do yoga, or yeah. how to live in community and love each other much better, uh, then they go out into the world like this, like uh, in a way that they can share Swansati in every corner of the world that they go to. So I can say either, oh, it's just a small project, no impact, but um, when, I, when I give my teachings and when I open this place, I'm thinking about the entire world in this yeah. way. And the best way that we can take care of, you know, to take care of the world is to take care of ourselves first and be the example to say, hey, I went to Swansati and I learned all these things that can help me to live a better life. And I want to be an example. Now my life is improved and I have something to share with you. I understand. <laughs> Good. Understand. Yeah. <laughs> How do you think you can uh, take the world better? How can we make the world better? Be uh, make the world better, Good. yes. Um, I think we can make the world better by uh, making small changes. Mm -hmm. So sometimes we think, oh, I have to do something big to change the world. But I see it like we are all trees in one forest. Yeah. 
So if one tree is bigger, stronger, more beautiful, the entire forest is more beautiful. Mm -hmm. So in this way, we try to make ourselves strong in mind, in body, and spirit. Yeah? And in this way, we can go out into the world and to uh, make all of humanity better just by being a shining example of what is possible. Transformation can happen. And each of us can make maybe not a big change today. We can make a small change today in our mm -hmm. lifestyle that can benefit everybody. Yeah. What is Buddhism for you? Mm. Good. So uh, <laughs> Buddhism, that's a big, a big topic. Yes. Um, so here we practice, I practice Theravada Buddhism. Theravada mm -hmm. Buddhism is the Buddhism of Southeast Asia and also Sri Lanka. And this for me is very personal. Um, you know, there's many, it's, it's a big, big thing, but for me, what's the, the most important is there was a teacher, uh, and there is a teaching, and there is uh, a way that we can make our lives better. And so, for me, I have a personal relationship with, with this teaching, mm -hmm. and, you know, um, and for me, I've noticed a difference in my life when I started to practice Buddhism. My life is, is easier, and my life is happier. Uh, and it's not always comfortable. Sometimes I have to be face to face with something I don't maybe want to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But um, when I come to that point, then you know the teaching is to okay, uh, accept, yeah? to soften, to become soft, and to accept it. Yeah? Mm -hmm. um, so uh, for me, uh, Buddhism is a process for me to. A, uh, for me to clean my mind of all the things that makes me unhappy. Mm -hmm. So okay. this is the most simple way I can put it. <laughs> okay, what do you think about uh, materialist uh, occidental world? Mm -hmm. what? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, so what do I think about the modern uh, materialistic world? Yeah, I think that uh, this world, this materialistic world is designed to make us feel like we are not good enough. We always need something more to feel complete. Yes. And so this project is, um, is for me, uh, a way that we can see that we can live a very simple life. We don't need so much. Mm. We don't need so much. We do need certain things. Yeah? We need to have uh, in, in four things. We need food. We need shelter, like a house and thing. Uh, we need some clothing. And we, if we get sick, we need medicine. These are the materialistic things we mm -hmm. need. Yeah? Okay, of course, we have love and all the other things like this. But for material things, this is the, these are the four things. Mm -hmm. um, so here we have that. It's, nothing is fancy, nothing is five star. But um, we realize that there's so much happiness here, and it's not depending on how many things we have. Um, so um, it's very easy to, you know, to point the finger at the materialistic society and say, ah, so bad um, but I think we start by looking at ourselves mm -hmm. because I noticed in myself that I would you know point the finger and say oh, it's not good um, but it's not the materials themselves it's the attitude of our minds you know? they're just things they're just things it's just it's just a car it's just a phone it's just you know a computer whatever but it's the mind that wants to uh, attach that thing and say okay I have to have it or I need the new one. Yeah. Yeah. Or if I don't have iPhone 7, then it's, you know, iPhone 6 is no good anymore. Right? Yeah. So this is, the, this is the idea that it's like always more, 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 more. Um, and I noticed this in myself when I was traveling. You know, I would say, oh, materialism is bad, consumerism is bad. But I was consuming experiences in the same attitude of mind. This beach, oh, it's okay, but I want one more beach. Yeah. Or this country is good. Mm, one more yeah, country. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, um, so for me, it's uh, it's the mental attitude. It's not the object. It's mm. the attitude, and this is kind of the attitude of society. And we can say a lot of different things, advertising or uh, many things. But um, when we come to a place like this, like Swansati, um, it's a place where we can just have a very simple life and be content yeah, with with little. And the happiness can doesn't have to depend on whether we have this thing or not have this thing. Yeah. Mm. And do you think in, in the future you could live in America or in Europa with a materialist uh, life lifestyle? <laughs> yeah, it's like a, it's 
could be difficult. Yeah, yes. it can be difficult. Here, it seems like there is my friend Kwang. She came to drop off some <laughs> organic vegetables. <laughs> yeah, so it, when you're surrounded by something, it's very difficult to stay pure. Yeah. So um, I think, you know, for me, I prefer to be here, be in my, in my small space here. Um, but if the universe calls me, it's my duty to, to go back to America or go back to Western lifestyle. Right now, my opinion is I don't want that, but mm -hmm. uh, whether I want it or not, it's where I'm needed. Mm -hmm. yeah? So maybe it's for me to go back somewhere and to show others that there can be a different way. What kind of work do you want as baby? Mm, uh, if good. you want as baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Still not sure about about that. It's a very you know serious question we have mm. to ask when we see the condition of the world, mm. um, and we can become pessimistic. Yeah, like, yes. oh, this world is terrible. You are pessimistic. I try to be realistic. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. So you can say, oh, the world is so terrible. This bad thing has happened mm. ecologically, yes. or you know, there's war. Uh, or we can be optimistic mm -hmm. and say, wow, there's so many beautiful things happening. Mm -hmm. Look at this community, look at you know, all the good things that are happening, yes. different changes happening. Um, so uh, we have to, I think, uh, see clearly. Okay? So often we look through the lens, the, the, the camera lens of pessimistic or optimistic. And so the practice is to be realistic. Mm -hmm. I think there is, I, the bottom line is, I believe, I believe in this world, mm -hmm. I believe that the good things, they're coming, mm -hmm. yeah. I believe that, uh, that good will always win, mm -hmm. sometimes it takes a long time, and maybe it's not what we want, but the right thing always happens. Mm. Mm -hmm. What do you think about uh, ecology? Um, ecology? Uh, is important in your project? Yes, uh, very important and this is the very uh, foundation mm -hmm. uh, because uh, elementary basic uh, Buddhism and basic ecology are the same yes. because everything is interconnected mm -hmm. everything, nothing is independent everything comes from something else and goes to something else yeah. and this is the teaching of the Buddha also what we see just by looking in the garden. Very, very easy to see. Even a child can see mm. this. Yeah. Yes. So uh, when I look here and I see, okay, if I water this ground, then the, then the, uh, the fruit tree will grow. The same thing with my mind. You know? If I water the seed of love, compassion in my mind, yeah, then this tree will also grow and give me many, many fruits. <laughs> <laughs> and do you think, um, for example, tree have um, an âme? Comment do you name? Comment do you name in English? Mine. Mine. Mm. Tree or garden <laughs> of nature? Mm. Nature. Hmm. <laughs> That's a good question. Mm. I think that it's not for me not so important to to think about whether it has a spirit or not mm -hmm. but it for me it doesn't matter i love this tree the same okay because in this tree i see myself mm -hmm. in myself i see this tree it's not different it's one okay. we are nature together mm -hmm. so in this way uh you can say maybe it has a spirit maybe not but this tree is worthy of my respect and my love you live in community and um, how, how do you do to have intimacy in community? I don't speak about uh, you and your girlfriend, just intimacy with you in a community. Understand? Uh, how to have private, private yes. time. Yeah, sometimes it can be difficult, but um, for there's two things. It is important for me to take time to be away only by myself. Um, but uh, the second part is I don't see uh, so much that uh, it's time with the guests, the community mm -hmm. time, or my time. Yeah. Anytime I'm with somebody uh, and I'm fully with them, then this for me, I'm also with myself. This is, I can look at it as I don't, I don't want to do this, I want to be doing my thing, but uh, when I want to be here, 
and that's me doing what I want to do. Mm. Yeah, and I feel happy in this way. Okay, I understand. If somebody wants to do the same, what? What, what is your advice? What is your advice? <laughs> My advice is do it. <laughs> Just do it. Uh, I think if you have this dream, you have this inspiration, yeah, you have to follow it. Um, and this project is very special for one reason because I teach that you don't have to be ready to do anything, you know? Like, you don't have to be perfect to start, mm. yeah? You don't have to, you know, have everything you need in order to start. Just start and then mm. everything comes. Yes. When you have the, the faith yeah, and you work hard, then good things will come. And so when I came here, I didn't know anything about anything. I was totally unprepared in every way, except for uh, I was ready to give everything. I was ready to give everything I had. And again, I trusted in the universe to bring me uh, the right thing at the right time. Mm -hmm. Maybe not in my time, but in the universe's time. Yeah. Okay. So if you have any uh, feeling that you'd like to do something like this, do it, have faith. Just set your course, set your target, and go. And when you start to go, then everything comes to lift you and help you on your way. Okay, thank you. Yay! <laughs> I think it's very good. Good, okay, yes. good. C'était bien. Yeah, it was a real pleasure to know your answer. Yeah.